What if everything around us was just a hologram? The thing is, it could be. And Enrico Rinaldi, a University of Michigan physicist, is using quantum computing and machine learning to understand the idea called holographic duality. Holographic duality is a mathematical conjecture that connects theories of particles and their interactions with the theory of gravity. This conjecture suggests that the theory of gravity and the theory of particles are mathematically equivalent. That is, what happens mathematically in the theory of gravity happens in the theory of particles, and vice versa. Both theories describe different dimensions, but the number of dimensions they describe differs by one. So inside the shape of a black hole, for example, gravity exists in three dimensions, while a particle theory exists in two dimensions, on its surface, a flat disk. To envision this, think again of the black hole, which warps spacetime because of its immense mass. The gravity of the black hole, which exists in three dimensions, connects mathematically to the particles dancing above it, in two dimensions. Therefore, a black hole exists in a three-dimensional space, but we see it as projected through particles. Some scientists say our entire universe is a holographic projection of particles, and this could lead to a consistent quantum theory of gravity. In a study published in the journal PRX Quantum, Rinaldi and his co-authors examine how to probe holographic duality using quantum computing and deep learning to find the lowest energy state of mathematical problems, called quantum matrix models. For the study, Rinaldi and his team used two matrix models, simple enough to be solved using traditional methods, but which have all of the features of more complicated matrix models used to describe black holes through the holographic duality. You can think of the numbers in the matrix models as grains of sand, Rinaldi says. When the sand is level, that's the model's ground state. But if there are ripples in the sand, you have to find a way to level them out. To solve this, the researchers first looked to quantum circuits. In this method, the quantum circuits are represented by wires, and each qubit, or bit of quantum information, is a wire. On top of the wires are gates, which are quantum operations dictating how information will pass along the wires. The researchers then wanted to compare using this quantum circuit method to using a deep learning method. In Rinaldi's study, the researchers defined the mathematical description of the quantum state of their matrix model, called the quantum wave function. Then they use a special neural network in order to find the wave function of the matrix with the lowest possible energy, its ground state. The researchers were able to find the ground state of both matrix models they examined, but the quantum circuits are limited by a small number of qubits. The results, says Rinaldi, show an important benchmark for future work on quantum and machine learning algorithms that researchers can use to study quantum gravity through the idea of holographic duality. Well then, do we actually live in a simulation? And if so, will you take the blue pill or the red one? Thank you for watching. Alan Ivey for the Neutronium Alchemist. And please, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Oh, yeah.